Hi everyone! I'm so excited to share with you the first tutorial using my stamping plate. This design embodies the theme of this plate perfectly with bright geometric shapes and overlapping patterns. Let's get started! For this look, we'll be using three images from my collab plate, the grid, the big shapes, and the tiny shape pattern. As always, we're going to start with a base coat to prep and protect the natural nails. Next, apply two coats of white nail polish and let it dry. For stamping, you want to work from the back and move forward. So first we'll be laying down the pink grid print for the background, and to do this you just want to apply the polish to the stamping plate, scrape off the excess, and roll your stamper across the image. Then just press it down onto the nail and repeat. Next, we're going to move to the image with the bigger shapes. I designed this one so that you can either pick up the whole image or you can use each shape. If you pick up some extra print on your stamper, you can just remove it with scotch tape. So here I'm using different colors and different shapes and just rolling them onto my nails. The triangle and half circle in this image were also intentionally designed that way so that I could use them as a half moon manicure, which is like my favorite go-to mani, and it's just made my life a little easier. Next, I'm using the tiny geometric shape pattern with a black polish and layering that over top of everything. To clean out the tiny detailed images on your stamping plate, I like to use a firm bristled angled brush and nail polish remover to scrub it into the tiny nooks and crannies and then I'll go over it with a cotton ball. You can also use a q-tip to do this. To really bring in that layering element, I'll be putting a blue square over top of the geometric pattern. I highly recommend using a clear stamper, so in case your polish doesn't cover the black details like mine did here, you can add one more layer over top to build up the opacity of the image. Let any excess polish you got on your skin dry and then you can just scrape it off with a toothpick or peel it off with tape. Finish with top coat. I always use a thicker top coat with stamping and I float it over just to ensure nothing smears and that's it. This was the design I had in mind when I first started designing my plate. I called it Fresh Prince as a pun for Fresh Prince of Bel-Air because I feel like this design just has the vibe of that era and I love it. So if you want to get your hands on this stamping plate, I'll have it linked in the description as well as a coupon code to save 10%. And if you do give this look a try, even if you don't use the stamping plate, I'd love to see a picture of it. As always, thank you so much for watching and thank you for your continuous love and support.